let us have a closer look at rainbows. With rainbows, the best place to start is how they're actually formed in the first place. Rainbows happen when light from the sun or another single bright source passes through rain, mist or water spray. As the light enters the water droplets, it is refracted or bent as it crosses or hits the boundary between the water and the air. It eventually merges from the water and makes its way towards your eye. Because the different colours of light have different wavelengths, each colour is bent by a slightly different amount, meaning the colours are actually separated. This also means that the more water droplets there are, the more light there is, the brighter and clearer the rainbow appears to be. So, can you ever get to the point where a rainbow touches down on the ground? Well, no. A rainbow isn't actually physically there. As you move, the rainbow also changes position. Even two people standing near to each other would see the rainbow in slightly different positions. So why then do they form an arch? Well, in actual fact, they don't. They form a complete circle, or at least they would, if your view wasn't limited by the fact that your normal position is virtually level with the horizon possible to actually be flying and see a full circle rainbow where the circumstances need to be nearly perfect for this to happen. Now, if the rainbow appears over a lake or another still body of water, you get a related effect where the image of the rainbow appears to be reflected in the lake itself. The rainbow in the water isn't a true reflection of the rainbow since the rainbow itself, as I said, isn't actually there. Instead what you're doing is viewing equivalent of another rainbow from the viewpoint of a different observer, since as well as bouncing round inside the raindrops, the light also bounces off the surface of the lake. The rainbow you see is slightly smaller than the one above it, due to the raindrops forming the rainbow is slightly closer to the viewer. A final odd effect can be noticed if there's a substantial amount of water falling. Some of the light which bounces around inside the water droplets, instead of taking a single deflection inside a water droplet actually deflects twice. This means that the light comes out in a slightly different location than the first light and also the light order is actually reversed due to the additional reflection. This means that above the normal rainbow is a fainter rainbow which actually appears with colours going in the opposite order to the normal rainbow. Now, of course if we could actually see in ultraviolet or infrared we actually see a much wider spectrum of the rainbows. So that's rainbows, a little introduction to them.